Hi, I'm Trevor Kaplan with Scotia Industries, and today we're going to be showing you our new AXIP GM LAN interface for 2006 and up GM vehicles with a GM LAN network system. This is the AXIP GM LAN interface for 06 and up GM vehicles with the GM LAN system. The interface has the capabilities to add iPod and auxiliary interfacing into any factory radio with or without nav, simply plugging into the radio or XM piece retaining all functionality. Vehicles equipped with the XM tuner from factory, the interface can plug directly into that tuner pack which is located behind the glove box. Locate the XM tuner behind the glove box. Disconnect the main harness. Plug in the provided Skosh T harness, which enables you to retain all XM functionality while using your iPod or auxiliary interfacing. Pass the interface side of the harness down through the glove box opening so that you can access it from the bottom. Now plug the interface into the harness. The red wire can be used to trigger other 12 volt accessories such as amplifier turn on or video monitors. If not in use, tape the wire out of the way. The RCA input jacks on the interface can be used to bring audio into the factory system from an audio player or a video system like a flip down screen. Or if you want to use your iPod, plug in the provided 30 pin iPod cable into the DIN port on the interface. Run the cable to a convenient location and now secure the module in the dash where the cabling will be out of the way. Once the installation is complete, then start the vehicle. This initializes the interface and the radio. Now plug the iPod into the 30 pin DIN cable. Put the radio into XM mode and hold down the back seek button until it beeps. This activates the iPod mode. Your iPod is now initializing with the interface and loading all of the information. Wait for it to finish downloading. It will say Skosh iPod when complete. The iPod has finished downloading data when the Skosh iPod screen appears. Now tap the iPod blue bar. Tap the Skosh menu button. This gives you your iPod choicing. iPod manual controls the iPod directly iPod Advanced Mode puts the iPod into UART Mode where the radio controls all the iPod functionality. You can control playlists, artists, albums, and genre. Control the songs from the screen directly. Control the Seek button back and forward to select next song. Exit the iPod menu by tapping the XM radio button. This returns you to your original XM settings. To get back out of the XM mode into the iPod mode, hold the seek back button until it beeps. To activate the aux in on the interface, tap the aux in button. To adjust the gains on the aux in, tap the aux gain high low. Continue doing that to cycle through the gains.